this is Annie Mac Hale on a snowy winter day at my place in New Mexico, inviting you to join me in my weaving room as I demonstrate the method that I use for weaving letters on the Inca loom. The pattern chart you're looking at shows the block letters that I use on the horizontal bar threading. Each letter consists of five blocks and each in height, each block representing three pattern threads. If you found this video on YouTube, please follow the link to my blog at aspinnerweaver.com to see the accompanying information. As you look at the chart, the letters are upright as you would read them. but as you weave them, you'll be weaving them on their side so the letters form along the length of the band. As you can see, I've started my band here and woven a couple inches in plain weave, showing the bars of alternating color, turquoise and brown. And I've woven two letters already, an A and a C. I'm going to repeat those letters so you can see how it goes. I have four dark brown border threads on each side. And in the central pattern area where I'm forming the letters, I have 15 turquoise threads threaded through heddles and 15 brown threads in the open shed. One of the nice things about weaving letters on the horizontal bars is that many of the uprights of the letters are naturally formed as you weave. Some rows you'll have to pick and drop brown and turquoise to get the threads in the place you'll want them. They can be considered as pairs, a turquoise on the left and a brown on the right, and when you pick a turquoise, you drop a brown or vice versa. I'll show you. The turquoise are all on top right now, which is just where I want them to start the A they will form the first upright line. So I'm going to go ahead and pass my shuttle through. And then raise the brown threads. In this shed, I'll need to pick up some of those turquoise from below to form the line across the top of the A. Each block on the chart represents three pattern threads. So I need three turquoise on top to form the top of that A. I'm going to pick up a turquoise from below and drop the brown next to it. Pick a turquoise and drop the brown. Pick turquoise and drop the brown. I'm on my left hand here now I have the border threads of dark brown and then the first three pattern threads of turquoise. I'm going to take the next three brown and just pass them straight across because I want them to stay on top, but now I need to do an exchange again, picking up some turquoise. Pick one turquoise, drop one brown, pick one turquoise, drop one brown, pick one turquoise, and drop one brown. That's all I need to do in this row to form these two lines. I want to keep all the rest of the brown ones and of course the two brown on the pattern or on the border rather. I'm going to pass the shuttle And now all turquoise in the pattern area are on top, which is what I want to form this upright on the A. So I don't need to do anything. 
Just going to pass the shuttle straight through. This time when I change threads, I've got the chain sheds. I've got brown on top again, which is perfect. That will give me a brown line in between that letter and the next one. No picking needed, just pass that straight through. Pushing down this time, I've got all turquoise on top. Once again, perfect. It's going to form the upright that starts my C. So I'll pass the shuttle right on through. Chain sheds. Now this time I'll need to manipulate some and get some of those turquoise up there on top. So keeping the two brown pattern or border threads, then I'm going to pick a turquoise, drop a brown, pick turquoise, drop brown, pick turquoise, and drop brown. I need some brown in the center here, so I'm going to pass the next three to my left hand, keep them on the top layer, pass the next three, and the next three before I need to get turquoise on top again. Here we go with turquoise picking, dropping brown, picking turquoise, dropping brown, picking turquoise, dropping brown. Keep those two border threads. Pass the shuttle through. Chain sheds. I have all turquoise on top this time, but I need to get rid of a few of them right there in the center. I like to work from left to right, so Moving those two border threads to my left hand. Then the next three turquoise. The next three turquoise. And here's where I need to get brown on top. I'm going to start by dropping turquoise. Pick brown. Drop turquoise. Pick brown. Drop turquoise. Pick brown. I've got the three brown ones I need in the center. I'm going to keep the rest of the turquoise and the two border threads. This is my final pass. That completes the C. And here we are with all brown on top forming the space between that and the next letter. Most letters will you will be able to complete in three sheds as these. However, some of them will take four or even five sheds to complete. Hopefully this will all make sense to you once you've had a chance to look at the pattern graph and do a little experimenting on your own. I hope you have fun with it.